everybody, welcome to today's video. We are looking right now at the Slim Agents example folder in LLMware. And as part of the launch of the new Slim models, we're gonna be working through a whole series of videos to give you a sense of really practical use cases and recipes of how to start incorporating these models so you can start building your own multimodal agents locally on a laptop using specialized function calling models. A lot of information is here in the repository. We would encourage you to check it out. We would encourage you to go and look at it and start to work through some of the other examples. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be looking through the sentiment analysis example. This is actually a very common pattern. And so let's take a minute and actually take a look at this. So one of our motivations behind the SLIM models is that in most complex real world you know, knowledge automation activities, there are multiple steps to it. It's rarely as simple as I've got a big chunk of text, answer a question about it or give me a summary of it. Usually any type of knowledge work, the type of work that you know analysts do, typically involves multiple steps of processing. And oftentimes there are decision points in that processing. And so what we were trying to do behind the slim models is ultimately give you a set of very specialized tools that can be used programmatically and can be used as decision points in conjunction with one of these multi-step processes. So what we have reflected here on this screen is a very representative, simplified overview of the kind of work that anybody in the financial industry and in an analyst type role might be asked to do from time to time. Starting on the left is the input into this process, which in this case, we're gonna use earnings transcripts, but certainly it would apply you know, very naturally to things like uh, customer support, you know, social media and information online, any form of reviews or any form of documentation in which there is some sense of a sentiment of you know, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Now, in an earnings transcript, there's lots and lots of words. And one of the threshold things to figure out is, was overall the commentary positive or negative? Now, it might be that the company had good results, but they weren't as good as expectations or vice versa. Really bad results, but ahead of expectations. And so even if the numbers don't look good per se, it might be that the sentiment reflected in those earnings transcripts, it differs from what the underlying results are. So a very representative project would be do some form of classification decision upfront. We're doing a wide screen across earnings transcripts, and perhaps we wanna find all the transcripts that are negative. And if it goes down a negative path, then there's one set of analysis that we wanna do. On the other hand, if it's positive, and maybe in this case, that's the positive one that we're looking for. There's a whole bunch of incremental steps then, incremental analyses. Let's look at what the underlying topic was. Let's extract some of the key names that were found in that release. Let's build out some tags so we can start to tag this content so we can search and retrieve it in the future. And then perhaps there are some targeted questions or summaries that we're gonna to wanna to build around this. And then ultimately, perhaps we're gonna push this into some analyst database, again, with very different types of information depending on this threshold decision about what the sentiment was. So in effect, what we're looking for is how do we use LLMs programmatically? And to use an LLM programmatically, we need the output that the LLM generates to be structured and consistent in some form that we can access programmatically. So um, as an example, what we want to be able to do is we wanna be able to pass a piece of text um, into some sort of model, and then we wanna be able to get a structured output. In this case of sentiment, hey, tell me the sentiment of this chunk of text. As an output then, give me a dictionary with a sentiment key, and then the output and the value of that sentiment. Or another way to look at it, we may wanna have an if then. If the sentiment is positive, then ultimately we're gonna to wanna to take some action. That's actually what we're gonna work through in the example. And then finally, we may wanna be able to start chaining these things together in a real life scenario. So if the sentiment is positive, then we wanna take some second LLM call. We wanna go look and extract some of the named entities that are in that, and then so on and so forth. And really being able to start reconceptualizing the outputs that we're getting from these LLMs for programmatic use and for multi-chain and multi-step types of processes. So with that perhaps as a backdrop, let's dive in and let's look at the sample code. As a reminder, all of this is available in the repository. So you can point, click, and in most cases, just go ahead and straight ahead run the code. There are examples, everything is sort of baked into it. So it's really designed to be a, a rip and run kind of example. But let's flip over to the IDE. There are really two examples here. I'm gonna spend some time running through the first one, which is just this simple example that we highlighted is, how do you actually make a, a simple sentiment call and then how do you use it as an if then gate? And just what does the sort of the formal code look like? That is this example right here. We're gonna get one sentiment classification on one of those earnings transcripts. The code is very simple. It uses this high level agent API. We're gonna create an agent. We're gonna load our sentiment tool. 
We're gonna run our sentiment tool on this chunk of text. We're gonna display the output just so you can see what's coming in that output dictionary. And then the two key things where we're gonna find the, the values that we're gonna use for our if then statement are just in really nice you know, Python dictionaries that we can slice through the way that we would with anything else. We're gonna look at the LM response and we're gonna get the sentiment, the sentiment key that's been produced. Then we're gonna get the confidence score. If then, the way to actually use this programmatically is just really simple. If positive is in the sentiment value, or in the second condition, if positive in the sentiment value and the confidence level is above a certain threshold, that's what we would ultimately use then as our gate to trigger whatever next level review we would want to initiate. So let's go ahead and let's run the example. And again, just as a reminder, all of this um, is running locally. This is using the uh, slim sentiment tool model. The first time uh, that you run this example, it will be pulled down from our Hugging Face repository. So it might take a minute or so to download the first time, but then going forward, it will be cached locally. All the processing, all the data, everything will be contained on your local machine. So from a data privacy point of view, you know, it really can't be beat in terms of what it's giving you. You can see fast and accurate. Now the output here, for those who have worked through some of the other slim examples, this is something that we've turned on journaling for our agent. It's really cool. It gives you a step-by-step -step view of everything that's going on within that agent. You can turn it off if you don't want to look at it, if you just want a minimalist type of display. And what we've done here, just as we walked through, we loaded the model, we ran it on our piece of text. The model gave us this output, this really nice Python dictionary with a sentiment key. We get some of the other metadata. We confirm that the output type was a dictionary. We get some information about the usage and the time that the inference took. Then we get the confidence score, color coding of that confidence. We analyze and share some of the other choices, some of the other logits that the model was considering and evaluating. In this case, you can see there was very little signal for neutral or negative. It was almost entirely positive signal, as you'd expect as you read that text. We get the LLM output, and then here are our two conditions. The sentiment is positive, and then here was the sentiment is positive with the confidence level. So hopefully this gives you just a very simple, clear recipe to start bringing sentiment analysis into some multi-step processes, and then to use that information, both the polarity of the sentiment, the positive, negative, or neutral, as well as the confidence level in that sentiment to start putting together some more complex scenarios. If you have any questions, again, please check out the repository. A lot of great examples. All the code is annotated. Um, but any questions, please come join us on Discord and have some fun working through these uh, agents on your local desktop. Thanks again, everybody. Take care and have a great day.